Methamphetamine is a potent stimulant drug, and Australia has the highest proportion of people dependent on methamphetamine in the world. Methamphetamine use stimulates the release of certain neurotransmitters in the brain, such as dopamine, noradrenaline, and serotonin. These chemicals cause people to feel awake and alert, increasing heart rate and blood pressure. When a person stops using methamphetamine, these brain chemicals are disrupted. This is thought to be linked to withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal can include feelings of depression, anxiety, fatigue, agitation, appetite changes, sleep changes, and vivid or unpleasant dreams. The acute symptoms generally peak within the first seven days and fade over one to two weeks as the brain replenishes its store of neurotransmitters. Some symptoms of withdrawal and other effects of long-term use of methamphetamine, however, can last for months or even years. Even though symptoms might persist, they will improve. Sometimes, people can't get through the acute withdrawal period and feel stuck in a cycle of repeated methamphetamine use to manage the withdrawal symptoms and cravings. The aims of withdrawal treatment are to minimize discomfort and risk, support interruption to repeated methamphetamine use, and facilitate engagement in long-term care. While withdrawal treatment is not a standalone treatment for methamphetamine use disorder, it can be an important step in the treatment journey. So, people might take medications like diazepam to manage symptoms like anxiety or agitation, but importantly, there are no approved medications specifically for the treatment of withdrawal. In our study, we reviewed all scientific publications through to December 2020 to investigate what medications had been trialled for the treatment of methamphetamine withdrawal. We found nine gold standard randomised clinical trials which randomly allocated participants to a medication or an identical placebo. They included an average of 27 participants per study and 88% were male. The remaining participants were reported female or not recorded. The six medications examined in these trials were amineptine, metazepine, modafinil, amantadine, ibutilast, and varenicline. We looked at changes in treatment dropout, mental health, methamphetamine withdrawal symptoms, craving for methamphetamine, and safety. Overall, no medication which was tested improved withdrawal symptoms compared with placebo. However, when we examined the studies critically using standardised measures, we determined that the results were not reliable. For example, the included studies often had high potential risk of bias and low sample sizes, and so it is difficult to draw any definitive conclusions. More work is needed to discover a potential pharmacological treatment for methamphetamine withdrawal. There are other treatment options available. If you or anyone you know needs to speak to someone, call the National Alcohol and Other Drug Hotline on 1-800-250-015.